Hey everybody, it's Kirsten Bulldog here again. I'm sorry about not uploading more videos, but uh, my work has gone kind of kind of crazy these past several weeks. I've uh, been downgraded from three people to just me, and I've been putting in what 13, 16 hour days, seven days a week. So I'm getting a bunch of overtime, but I don't have time to play video games anymore. It makes me sad. So uh, fortunately, it's supposed to rain all this week, so maybe I get a little bit more out. Um, maybe a couple of my uh, bonsai videos, which I started with on, uh, still my main hobby. So, might get one of those out this week too, we never know. Uh, anyway, so I'm having a few people go through my old videos about my minecart doors and wondering if it still works and, you know, how it's not working for them, that bugs, you know, what, what I can do to help them out. So I decided to go back to the drawing board and see if I could fix it. So, and I think I have. This should work pretty much all the time with maybe a couple slight adjustments on some timing. It should work for everybody now. So, so you step on, door opens, and the track comes out. Walk through, I'm not fast enough, and everything closes up. So, works. So, and what I've done is just slightly delayed that piston and that piston. So, first thing we need to do is, uh, Fresh plate here is learn how to do the basic basic uh, device we need for this, and this is uh, what's called a reversible signal generator. And so replace that with that and that, with that. So what you have is you have one signal activating two two outputs. So you have one input, two outputs. So in this diagram, we'll have actually I'll change around so it makes sense with the with the layout so here we have the uh, green is my input I'm gonna change that actually again so green is the input and the red and the blue are outputs and the orange is just an extra block we need so how this works is when you have where you lay it out is from your input you have two repeaters coming off of it so you have one going straight forward and one going to either the right or the left and the, from the one going off to the side you have that go into a block and then you have another repeater going back towards blue and then from blue you have another repeater going into red so you have from green to red and then from green to orange to blue to red so, how this works is, when I step on this, the one on the right goes out first, and then the one on the left. When I step off of it, the one on the left comes back on first, and then the one on the right. So that's what we want, want to work for our door. And the beauty of this is, since it only takes up four blocks, and normally, you know, you have your output come out straight. Nothing saying I can't have my output go this way and that way. So that's what I do, and we put two of these things back to back. So we have two inputs and two outputs, and the good thing is, is that, you know, I still get my signal coming off either side, and now I have just two reversible signal generators, but they only have, but they share the two outputs. So. Another thing is, since we have this empty block in the middle, we can put down some torches, and then when we put our uh, powered rail up above, it, it's powered. So we can have you know, a couple powered rails right in, before our door, and both of them get power. So that's, that's a good deal. And uh, timing of this is, I'd say start off just doing default timing when you place your repeaters so everything at one tick you may have to set this one to, to two ticks maybe three ticks depending upon your system I'd say probably probably need just one or one, or two and it probably depends on how the redstone's working in you know, your specific area so let me just open this up get Mr. Dude on his way Turn it off. See, it works good. Um, 
unfortunately, because you have a detector rail on either side, it does tend to stay open a little bit behind you. But that was weird. Or if I screwed it up. But door closes, track goes op over. Door I mean, door opens, track extends, track retracts, door closes. So um, it works really good. Occasionally, just because the the what setup I have here, he doesn't travel quite fast enough, or he travels too fast. I'm not sure. Sometimes, eventually, I'll land with him getting stuck and pushed over. But for occasional use, it'll work great, especially if if you have enough speed. It opens quick, it closes slow, so you should be able to get through just fine. Um, so what we need, we've got we've got this part built pretty good. Now we just need to show you how to wire up the pistons. So we're going to call the, the blue side, the one that goes through two repeaters to get to there. Um, you want one dust on the ground, you want into a block. From that block you put uh, a torch on any side, it doesn't really matter, you can do it either here or here, depending if you don't have enough space on this side. And then you put, put a block on that, and then you just put the torch on the block to power, power a block directly behind the piston so you know pretty simple stuff anybody with even basic redstone knowledge can figure that out we come over to the red side which is our door our uh, too high door blocking everything off this is even simpler we have one redstone on the ground coming off our output into a block torch on top of the block block above the torch piece of dust on top of that block that's it. That's how simple this door is. A lot more works a lot better. Pretty simple. Um, the only other thing you need to know is pretty much need three spaces before your detector. Yeah. See, sometimes he lags out or he gets stuck. I'm not sure why that happens, but um, I think the thing just glitches out after a little while of continuous use. But so you have one, two. Three, three blocks and then your detect rail or you can you know move this back as however far you need then just just then once you have that just bring your redstone over into the I have them as orange blocks here but these are greens so into the green blocks so um yeah real simple real easy and say doesn't take up much space at all. You have what? You know, three by five grid on the bottom with a couple of offshoots. That's pretty. That's pretty good. That is pretty darn good. So, uh, anyway, that's all I have this time. Um, you guys, like my videos. Keep an eye out. I'll hopefully, try and get some more out. Hopefully, get more help at work and have a little bit more time off. So. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time.